are God. Amen. I want to let you know the sacrifice of Christ did not start on the cross. Mm. That was the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, sir. But the sacrifice of mm. Christ started when he allowed himself to be born to a woman. Yes. Mm. You have to understand he was God. Yes. Are y'all listening? The mm. unfallible, yes. the unchangeable, the all-powerful, mm. the all-knowing. Yes. And he humbled himself to allow the thing that he created to create him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that, that's humble. That's, that's like as a mother, you're allowing your children to run your life. Mm -hmm. That's humbling. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? But it happens when one day your son starts telling you what you need to do and your daughter, and you look at them and say, How y'all gonna tell me? I gave birth to you. But Mary told Jesus it's time to go to bed, y'all mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. It's time to wake up, Jesus. Yes. No, it's time to eat. Are y'all listening? On, that's man. humbling. Before you can go up, you have to go down. Before you can be used, you have to be obeyed. God will break everybody he's going to use. He cannot use you until you are broken. Come on, say it, say it. Because you're talking to broken people. And when you talk, you have to feel them. Are y'all listening to me? Not theory. Oh, no, no, no. Not what you think. Amen. You have to feel. One of my favorite scriptures is that we have a high priest that has been touched by the feelings of our infirmities. Everything I feel, every moan, every pain, every ache, every temptation, Jesus felt. Mm. All right. That's why it makes him able to bring me out. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? <clears throat> he says, I won't be before you long. Who do men say that I am? You are the Christ, the son of the living God. Peter, you got it. You got the question right. Yes. I'm not Elijah. He was my servant. I'm not Jeremiah. He was my servant. I'm not Moses. He was my servant. I'm not Samuel. He was my servant. I'm not David. He was my servant. I'm not Solomon. He was my servant. And all those gentlemen were ambassadors for me. I'm not Mustafa. He's my servant. Are y'all listening to me? All these gentlemen represent me, but I am not them. I am greater than them. All right. Don't break me with them. Because I'm so much more. Yes, yes. Who are y'all listening to? This is the Holy Ghost. Yes, I'm, yes. I ain't worried about the notes. I'm just going to let it flow. Let it go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, you got it right, Peter. Mm -hmm. But I want to let you know, silver, mm -hmm. or you know, he says he's a flesh and blood, mm -hmm. did not reveal that to you. Mm -hmm. You didn't find that in the Torah. Yes. <laughs> you didn't find it in the Mosaic Law. You didn't find that out in the scriptures. You didn't find that out from talking. You didn't find that out from a show. You found that out through the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, brothers and sisters, is what brings revelation to what, who God is yeah, and what yeah. he's able to do. Yeah. And ultimately, to be a part of this thing called the church, the, the organism, you have to be born again. That's it. Yes. Are y'all because the church is the culture of God? Are y'all listening to me? The church has, are people that have been born of the DNA of God. What makes me a legitimate son of God is because I'm born of God's DNA, not because I preach, not because I do this. Because there's gonna be some people that do the very thing that I do, and God is gonna say, "I don't even know you. You are not mine." Are y'all listening to me? Those that are His have been born of his spirit. Are y'all listening to me? If you want to enter in uh, the kingdom of God, if you want to come to heaven, flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of God. But you have to be born again. So the church is not black. The church is not white. The church is not Latino. The church is not Korean. The church is the people of God. Born of God spirit. And God is not black. God is not white. God is not Latino. God is a spirit. And he that worships him must worship him in spirit. That's the church. Are y'all listening to me? That's the church. In heaven, it's going to be every color. 
Yeah. Because that's the church. Amen. And y'all listen to me, brothers and sisters. It's God's people born of God's spirit. Those that are led by the spirit are the sons and daughters of God. We are spiritual beings. And y'all listening to me. God wants to rebirth you so he can talk to you. God can't talk to that fleshly head. All right. All right. He can't talk to that carnal mind. That's right. He can't even communicate with it because he's going to tell you something that, that, that you can't even fathom with this carnal mind. Are y'all listening to me? So he needs you to be born again, come back to the true essence of who he created you to be so he can even have a conversation with you. When God talks to you, he talks to the spirit man. Are y'all listening to me? Because spirits know a uh, spirit. You know a spirit by a spirit. Are y'all You try a spirit. By a spirit. Are y'all listening to me? That's how I know the difference from my conscience to God talking to me because my conscience talks to my mind. Uh, my flesh. God talks to my spirit. I just know that I know that I know. The old people will say, you know it and you know it. I know that's not good English. Amen. But, but I totally understand. You know stuff in your knower. And, and, and God will show you some things and tell you some things that, that, that will overshadow your finances, overshadow your education. He'll tell you, I'm going to use you to do this. I'm going to use you to build that. And you'll look at your life and say, there's no way I can do this. I got to listen to me. But he's not asking you to do it by your own power. Amen. He's asking you to walk Amen. in the spirit. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I, All right. If you understand what I'm yes. saying. Oh, oh good God. Yeah. Right. He said, flesh and blood have not revealed that to you. But my Father in heaven has revealed that to you. Yes, and he said, Peter, now Jesus is doing a word play. Because Peter means rock. Okay. How y'all listening to me? Yes, yes. It means stone. That's what it yes. means. Yes. So he said, yeah, your name is Peter. Your mama named you right. And, and I'm going to say this for the upcoming mothers. Before you can name your child, pray to God what you should name your child. Yes. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Because truthfully, their destiny is supposed to be connected to their name. Yes. My name means, my name is Mustafa Muyi. Even though it is an Islamic name, God still gave my parents insight of what to name me. The name means chosen to sustain life. No wonder I'm a preacher. Yeah. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. I didn't know that when I was in the world. I found that out a couple of years later. Let go what my name really means. I said, oh, that's why you called me. Because you called me to sustain life. Well, you are life. Amen. <laughs> and so... He tells Peter, yeah, no, your mama named you right. You are a rock. Mm -hmm. And upon this rock, oh, I'm going to build my church. Hallelujah. When he says rock, he's not just talking about Peter. He's talking about himself. Mm -hmm. I'm the rock. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the rock of ages, the yeah. cheap cornerstone. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? Yeah. And anything you build, it has to be built on a solid yeah. Yeah. Foundation. foundation. All right. Are y'all listening to me? Jesus built his church upon him. He is a solid foundation. Why do you need a solid foundation? Because one day the winds are going to blow. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saved. The wind is still going to hit your house. Yeah. Right. Saved. The storm is going to hit your house. Yeah. Are, are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. Preaching doesn't stop the storm. Are y'all listening to me? Coming to church doesn't stop the storm. Are y'all Don't think God is not with you because you're in a storm. No, you, you, you're saved, but you're in a storm. Are y'all listening to me? And, and that's okay, brothers and sisters, because you have the assurance, brothers and sisters, that your house will not fall. When it's built on Jesus, it does not matter how hard the wind blows. One thing you know is that no matter at the end of the story, at the end of the storm, I will remain standing. I shall not be moved. I'm like a tree planted by the river. Tell yourself that I ain't going nowhere. I ain't no devil. Hit me with your best shot. Because I ain't going nowhere. Tell the doctors. I ain't going nowhere. All right. Tell the funeral home. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Don't pick up my suit yet. Don't yeah. pick up my dress yet. Right. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. He said, yeah, I'm going to build my church. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I'm going to build it. <laughs> I'm going to build it. And then he says this. And the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Now, when, I, when that was explained to me, and when I read it, I looked at it as the hell coming against me. Right? The gates of hell should not prevail against it. But that's not what they're saying. When it said the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Because God is going to use you right. to come right. against hell. That's yes. it. All right. Hey. See, it's not so much that hell is coming against you. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? God wants to empower his church to yeah. come against it. Amen. Stop being afraid of the devil. Stop worrying about the devil. Amen. God, boy, he's giving you power to cast oh, out yeah. the devil. Oh, yeah. The devil is supposed to be worrying about you. Yeah. The devil is supposed to be scared that you woke up this morning. Right. Every demon is supposed to be nervous. Oh, she's getting out the bed again. Yeah. He's getting out the bed again. Yeah. They're going to cast us out. They're going to kick over our altars. They're going to try to change our agenda. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. The church yeah. is supposed to come against the devil. That's we right. have to get off this defense and play some offense. Yeah. Are y'all listening? We got to score. Yeah. yeah. No, we're supposed to kick down every altar in Oakland. Yes, right. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. It don't supposed to be a prostitute trap when you get done. Yeah. 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 That's too much faith. Yeah. It don't supposed to even be a crack house when you get done. Right. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? You are supposed to come against the gates of hell. He said the gates of hell are going to try to stop you. I'm going to send you on a mission. I'm going to empower you to change this world and the gates of hell are going to try to stop you and I want to let you know you have the power to yeah. kick every altar, open every gate, kick yeah. the door yeah. down. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It won't stop you. Amen. The church won't stop. That's right. The church won't stop. Church won't stop. <laughs> it hasn't stopped in 2,000 years with all the persecution right. coming against it. Right. With all the atheists and all everybody saying what they're saying, we're still here. God is raising up thugs to preach. Are y'all listening to me? God has found me in a jail cell facing 25 years to life. He said, where you go, Lord, I'll go. He said, boom, I'll give you my Holy Ghost. Go! Yeah, come on. Go. Amen. Ah, Amen. Yes, Lord. Come on, man. If you don't go, God will go. If you don't preach, the church won't stop. If you don't sing, the church won't stop. If you don't usher, the church won't stop. God will just start raising people out of strange places and they will continue. If I told the Lord today, I would never do this again. The same anointing that's on my life, God will place it on somebody else's life to keep it going. It won't that's stop. Right. Amen. All right. All right. What a God. What a God. Mm -hmm. Upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail yes. against it. Whatever you bind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in heaven. Come on, I'll bind on earth. Whatever you loose in heaven, I'll loose on earth. God has given us the keys to the kingdom. Whatever we want to happen in this earth realm, you have the power to make it happen. That's what he's telling you. No, what's, what you want to do? Are y'all listening? Whatever you say that we're going to buy, we're going to buy in heaven and earth. Whatever you say we're going to lose, we're going to lose it in heaven and earth. What is your agenda? Bring me to my first point. The church has a purpose. Yes. All right. God birthed you and he saved you with a purpose. Right? He built it. He said, build nothing. Nobody builds something without a purpose. Yes. It's a waste if it doesn't have a purpose. My people perish, amen, mm -hmm. from a lack of vision. Yes. Where there is no vision, people perish. Yes. Where there is no purpose, mm -hmm. people die. Yes. If you're not getting up chasing after a purpose, yes. you're already dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. It just hasn't fully yes. manifested itself. Yes. But if you ain't getting up doing something, going after something, chasing something down, mm -hmm. what are you doing? You know, you know what makes people depressed? They just ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. that's it. People that's doing something, yeah. we don't have time to be depressed. I want to be depressed. Yeah. Phone ring, email coming, somebody calling, gotta be over here by five.